Hey everybody, I'm Odie Everonis and welcome to a look at Cloud Gardens. This is a kind of a sandbox tool, someplace in between game and interactive toy. It is basically we're growing plants on these derelict uh, dystopian settings and dioramas here. Um, we're given some plants and we can take the plants, click them, and then throw them onto uh, spots within the terrain and then they will grow. And that's mostly what the game is all about. There is a little bit of gaminess to it right now in, in it, but it's mostly just that. We can click these things to get more seed, a juice for these more, making more seeds here. But that's honestly all there is to it. It's just kind of a cool, relaxing game. What it sounds, what it sounds like they've done right now is they've kind of just made this interesting tool to play with and they're deciding what people like about it along the way. So this will be on early access on Steam on the 9th. And uh, it'll be available to download, people can get some feedback on it, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, they've been posting a lot of GIFs for it on, on Twitter and that kind of thing, it's kind of what drew me to it. Uh, this game is developed by Noeo, who's the developer of Kingdom, and Kingdom New Lands and all those games. And uh, it says this kind of struck me as interesting. It's an interesting way to develop a game here where they don't really have any necessarily like gaminess to it at the outset. It's just, it is what it is. So as you see here, when placing down seeds on the terrain, and then all you need to do is they'll give you different objects. You just place those down around it, build your scene. As you place things near these plants, they'll grow up. That's all there is to it. Now the plants, they have certain aspects to them. They will um, grow differently on certain terrains. Like it seems like the cactus here just got this. It seems like it grows well on the dirt. Um, this one seems like it grows well on flat surfaces. That's why I threw it there. Um, they all kind of have different aspects. There's four different seeds that I know of right now. I'm, I'm midway through the game. I wanted to start in the middle because it seemed like it'd be more interesting to do that. As, as you play through the game, the settings and dioramas get more interesting. So I wanted to start there um, with this. And I, for some reason, some stuff is kind of bugged right now. It's not always working uh, the way you'd expect it to. So we're kind of just taking that as it comes. It is in early access. It's not much to the game portion of it right now. But as you do things, as you grow plants, they grow little seeds on them or little fruits on them, sometimes flowers, and you use those to uh, get more plants. So I'm getting more plant fiber as I build that up here. It does take a little while to grow these, it looks like, this time around. Um, but we just pl place things near those plants and that makes them grow better. So I'm gonna put one over by this plant here and it should grow that out a little bit. And uh, we can see how many objects we have left to place by these little dots here. Let's, let's know there's there's more on the way. So we have some cinder blocks to place now. Now, if I place things too far away from the plants, nothing happens. I got to get them kind of closest to the plants. That's the only really rule to it. As, I mean, there's no real tutorial to the game or anything like that. So I've kind of had to figure these things out as I go. But as I can, as what I can see is that you can place things near the other plants, and if you place them near more than one plant, it grows better. And then once you get enough uh, stuff, you get another seed from over here and you can plant the seed down and use that to get even more. So let's plant it on the ground here. So again, I think this one grows well in the dirt. And then you place these more things down and they all grow up again. And it kind of just is a, it's a procedurally generated engine. They've, they've taken a great job, done a great job making a procedurally generated tool here that they'll do something with in the future. So they're just gonna kind of play around, see what people like about the game, listen to the feedback, and see what's, uh, what else what they, should they do with it. Um, I'm gonna plant one of these guys. I think these guys do good with hanging stuff. Let's see here quick. I think that's where I wanna put those. Let's grab him, we'll throw him up here on the sign here maybe, like that, let's see what this, how this does. And then we'll put up this new sign here. Oh God, it's a big sign. Um, I want to put it someplace here. What do, where do I want to throw that? There we go. Oh, that did not work at all. Let's see if we can throw a different sign here. There we go. Like that. And that grew that there. These little things hang down like that. This is kind of a nice relaxing game. You can just, uh, you know, play however you want to play. There's not much to it right now. So I don't think people should expect a whole lot, but you just kind of build these little dioramas to your liking and just place things wherever you like. 
and things will grow up. You grab the seeds as they come up. Not, not seeds, but like little fruits and that kind of thing as they come up on these plants. And that gets you more of this little blue stuff here and you can make more plants with it. It's the circle of life. You place garbage, you get more plants. I don't know why it works that way, but it does. Then that's literally the only two mechanics of the game. That's it. That's all there is to it. But it is really fascinating the way that these plants and stuff grow here. All procedurally generated um, to the surroundings. And I can place stuff on it and they will grow. Like if I place bigger things like that truck on there, you can see it, it does work around those things. Incorporates them into the scene. Uh, everything's got its own physics and space that it takes up. And I'm going to put those down here. I'm going to plant another plant out here so I keep growing more. And then the only other gamey aspect to it is that there's this little meter over here. And as we place things, it'll fill that up. So I'm going to place these guys here. This will be a tree, I believe. I'm going to place it down someplace and see what happens. Like right here. Again, I think these will be on, a flat, on flat ground. For the most part here, and we'll throw this here. You can actually throw things and break them like that. I just broke that right off again. And uh, we'll put it right back and it should grow out really nice, nicely right away. Whenever we break something off, it seems like it grows back 100%. So there's no risk to uh, planting it that way. The only thing that can happen is if you place your seeds badly, this might not fill up all the way. And then you would not like pass the mission, pass the level. That's the only really like, again, only really game type aspect to the game. Otherwise, it's just kind of just a sandbox. You can do what you want with it. And I should say, there is an actual sandbox mode too, where you can just build your own diorama from scratch, which we'll get to later in this episode. I think we'll take a look at that too. Um, so I'm starting in the middle of the game right now. I've done about 15 levels so far of the game. And I wanted to start here in the middle because it gets more interesting as we go along. Uh, there's gets more tools to play with. And I'm gonna grab, let's see, let's try this guy. And we'll grab, we'll grow those back over here on this plant here. We'll plant this right over here on this thing right here. You kind of see how it procedurally generates around this. The plants all grow differently. The plants all want certain terrains that they want to grow on. So like this guy grows well on dirt. Um, he's getting to be really big here. It looks like he gets lots of fruit too. That's awesome. These guys seem to grow well on flat surfaces. And these guys grow on, I guess these guys grow pretty much anywhere. Doesn't, I don't think it really matter. I'm still kind of figuring it out. There's no tutorials in the game. We just kind of got to figure it out as we go. But these are just things I've learned from a basic playthrough here so far. So let's throw some of these around. Getting the plants out there helps us grow this, this green meter faster. And when we place something near it, it'll grow out even more here. Put these down there. Let it grow out the plants. I don't think we have any chance of failing this one now. Once you get started at least, it doesn't really have much risk of failure. Is this one thing? A nice sign here. Oh, fell right over. Let's grab, what else would I have to tried here? I tried, this tree didn't grow very much. Let's try another tree here. Looks like I'm out of, uh, I'm out of stuff to throw actually. So we might fail this still, but there's no real like, um, like penalties in the game really. I mean, you just restart and it's like, you just restart doing the same thing you just did. So it's not like a huge deal. I'm gonna put this guy back here. Hopefully he grows out a little bit. There it goes. No, that's all we get. This is gonna go back to red now. Oh, no, we can do this. There's plants to grab. That should grow another seed for us. We ain't done yet. Let's throw that on the side here, maybe. See if that works. Nope, we got more over here back here. We ain't done yet. A couple of flowers through here to grab. Let's grab one more of these guys. Let's try that over here instead. Try on the back side here. I think that didn't quite do it, but there's a couple more here to grab. Let's throw it right here. So close, so close to the top here. Any others I missed? 
Well, I, fa I failed that one. So we can just restart it if we need to. We can also, in early access here at the very least, because they have stuck skip level. And it'll just take us to the next level. Which is nice, because then we can just move on. We got the basic idea there. I don't know why I failed that one necessarily. I haven't skipped too many levels at all, so... I think we just throw this guy right in the middle. Seems good to me. Throw this guy here. Oh, fell right off. That's all right. It'll come back in my inventory here. Oh, we have garden gnomes. That's fun. So when you when you beat a level, um, we have to make sure we curate this guy here because he might not. Um, we might not win this one. Oh, we're getting it. Never mind. There it is. Oh yeah, we're gonna get plenty of stuff here. Screwing across. So we can grow it this way a little bit, maybe. That's it. That's all there is to it. So when you finish a level, let's just do this real quick. When you finish a level, you unlock stuff for sandbox mode. You can go to sandbox and use those props in it. Um, in sandbox mode, you can build all kinds of stuff. This is an interesting one with lots of garbage in it. A cactus has got to go here someplace. Let's throw it right there. It's a big cactus this time around. We're in a very small map. There we go. We've defeated the level that quickly. Building a really cool cactus from the middle of nowhere. So that's really all there is to the game. It's very, 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 very simple, but it is very relaxing to play. And it's one to keep an eye on for sure. Cause it, I mean, I don't know what they're gonna do with it exactly, but it does seem like they got something good going here. Just to show off the sandbox mode a little bit here. Let's go, let's go over to that. You can also, there's a photo mode in the game. I think you can go to that by going like this and then you can turn on different things. You can do movies. You can do, um, you can change with the way things grow with the growing animation and do a uh, camera spin and all that stuff. Um, and interesting, basically just make a garden, take photos of it. That's all there is to it for the most part here. Uh, let's go back to the sandbox here. So we'll set up a sandbox. Let's go like a medium size. Let's just go dirt floors and play. Let's see if this works for me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes we aren't able to grow plants. And it looks like it has it this time around, so that's good. So uh, we have our very first plant. We'll grab that, and then we'll just go into the sandbox and grab like props out. Um, we have a dirt terrain here. We can grab like buildings if we want to make it a nice uh, large area here. We don't have a lot of space to work with then. But we can build a building on there if we want to. Put that out there and just kind of build however you want to build, you know? I don't know if there's a way to rotate these things as I'm placing them either. I haven't really played around with this too much, but we can just kind of build a scene out a little bit and put like some rubble in there, some smashed walls, grab some pieces to work with here. Let's place them wherever it might make sense. Oh, there we go. Rotate the, um, let's see if I click it. Can I click it? Or do I have to drag it? Looks like if I use the mouse scroll, it's not the most comfortable thing in the world that you do because you have to hold down the one left mouse button and then scroll with, with at the same time. Um, but then we can throw this guy out there and let him grow. And he'll grow out. That's all there is to it. So you kind of just do whatever you want with this. I mean, you can make it, you can just see what interesting objects you have to play with here and play around with them. That one didn't attach for whatever reason. We have a security camera here. We're going to put a security camera on the side there. Why not, right? And then as you do that, you'll gain more plants to place of different types. Let's see if we want a planter to place uh, one of these. I think this is a planter here. Yeah, we can put like a, a cactus on the roof with this. That should work. Because these cactuses seem to grow well in those planters. Kind of just grow your Zen garden however you want it to grow. Cut that off. Let it grow back. All good stuff. Yeah, so it's an interesting little game. Uh, it's going it's to be on Steam starting on September 9th, so you can check it out for yourself there. Thank you guys so much for this quick look at Cloud Gardens. I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. 
and see what the community can come up with for this. It'll be kind of an interesting thing to see and uh, can't can't wait to see all the interesting uh, gifts and that kind of thing um, on Twitter. All the things people will come up with. So should be cool. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. I'll be back for something else really soon. If you enjoyed it, leave a like and I'll see you next time for more.